Oh, don't mind me, I'm just unlocking my iPhone 10. I'm using the iPhone 10's new Face ID unlock system. Instead of a fingerprint, it uses cameras and sensors hidden right in here to figure out if it's really you. We're all used to living in a selfie world, but I'm sure Face ID has you asking a lot of questions. Will it work on your face? And most importantly, is it really secure? So let's step into the Post Gadget Lab to get hands on, or should I say face on, with some key issues. Setting up Face ID is quick. Just rotate your head around while it sends out invisible beams. It's not just taking the world's most awkward selfie, it's plotting the contours of your face. To make Face ID work, the most important thing is holding it a sufficient distance from your face. I find it works nine times out of 10. Slight changes don't seem to confuse it. Remodeling your face though, will cause problems. My bearded volunteer shaved to a stash, then shaved clean and the iPhone 10 could no longer recognize him. Keep this in mind. If for some reason Face ID doesn't work, you can always type in your pin code the old fashioned way. You'll also need the pin to share your phone with someone else. You can only register one face per iPhone 10. Which takes us to security. For starters, can anybody at Apple access my Face ID? Like the fingerprint that came before it, that data is stored only on the phone itself. Okay, but could anybody impersonate your face? That's where things get interesting. Apple claims there's a one in a million chance of Face ID confusing someone else for you. Actually less of a chance than with the fingerprint reader. What if somebody had a photo of your face? Nope, that doesn't work. What if someone had a mask of your face? Not this one at least. What if you had a twin? We tried that too, and it did manage to trick the Face ID. Okay, now let's get really paranoid. What if someone breaks into your house in the middle of the night and steals your phone and holds it up to your face while you're sleeping? Believe it or not, Apple thought of that. An attention mode turned on by default actually requires your eyes to be open for it to work. Let's talk about some legal matters. Could a cop force you to unlock your phone just by waving it in front of your face? Like with so much new tech, the law is ambiguous. In some cases, you can be compelled to share your fingerprint. Either way, they'll need a search warrant first. And here's the biggest question of all. Is using your face to unlock your phone even worth the $1,000 price tag of the iPhone 10? For most people, I think not. But if you want to live on the cutting edge, we're definitely entering a time when your phone and all sorts of gadgets are going to know you by face.